Bitcoin has comfortable support above 70K, crossed an all time high the evening of the election. Thank you very much. Wow. And has a real chance of breaking into the 80s and 90s any day. Can I say it? We are so back. But we Bitcoiners never left. However, the we whole Bitcoiners may be reaching its peak membership very soon. Adam Back said something very interesting last year that most people overlook. And I think it's an important consideration for worldwide Bitcoin adoption. When compared to a 2021 report from a wealth management firm about a concept called the great wealth transfer, this could literally change everything. It's Sir Ulrich and are you down with the underground? I for one am hyped about the election results and for at least four years the most powerful country in the world has seemingly adopted a live and let live policy when it comes to digital assets. Bitcoiners in America can breathe. No stupid unrealized capital gains threats. Hopefully the American vassal the European Union will follow suit. Let's celebrate but we still have work to do to spread the real Bitcoin message. And this week, I want to talk about the proof of work pioneer, Adam Beck. So I came across this old tweet of his just a few weeks ago, and he said, we might be close to peak whole coiners. Wild hyper Bitcoinization is nigh. And also attached a picture of Glassnode tracking the number of Bitcoin addresses holding one or more Bitcoin. Now, of course, everyone knows you can have one person to many addresses, when you consider possible new wallet addresses, you gotta logically think how many new addresses going forward belong to legacy Bitcoiners versus new holders. And if Bitcoin's as cool as everyone says it is, we should be expecting an expanding base of users. Thus, many, if not most, new addresses will belong to newcomers. And if that's the case, the next logical question is, how easy will it be to acquire an entire Bitcoin at its continuously rising value for the foreseeable future? In short, it will become harder. Now take a look at this graph. Incomes for the wealthiest nation in the world, the USA, are not keeping up with the value of Bitcoin. Rather, the work to acquire one Bitcoin is directly related to the price. The takeaway is, your time denominated in dollars is worth less and less the longer you wait to adopt a Bitcoin standard. Now, some people may counter that the real dollars now are not as valuable as the real dollars of 21, which dilutes the 70K valuation now versus the three and a half years prior. But based on this chart, I would have to say that Bitcoin is actually more difficult to acquire than ever before considering the increased time exchanged required from working class individuals. So why is all of this important? Well, for context, wealth manager Cerulli Associates did a study in late 21 that wealth transferred through the year 2045 will total $84.4 trillion. 72.6 trillion of that will be transferred to heirs, 11.9 will be transferred to charities. Greater than 53 trillion will be transferred from households in the baby boomer generation, representing 63% of all transfers. Silent generation households and older stand to transfer about 15.8 trillion, which will take place over the next decade. 38.5 trillion, 42% of the overall estimate, is expected to come from high net worth and ultra high net worth households, which together only make up 1.5% of all households. Now, I can assure you this report did not once consider the amount of Bitcoin these people have or its relative value. And this is going to be a critical mistake. These people soon discover the wealth transfer will not be vertical because of grandpa dying. Rather, it's going to be a horizontal transfer of buying power shifted because of one once in a millennia decision. Did you buy Bitcoin when buying a whole Bitcoin? was actually feasible. Now look, we know Bitcoin is going up in value, but so what, right? Well, think nth order consequences. Bitcoin harder to acquire, fiat income stagnant. Where do we see something similar? How about the housing market? 
For a few years now, people have been complaining how asset inflation has left wage earners on the outside looking in for purchasing a home they can call their own, thus creating a wealth gap. But let's take you as an example watching this video. You have a respectable stack versus a neighbor or friend who can barely spell decentralization, much less understand its meaning. The opportunity window to correct past miscues is quickly closing. You are the asset owner and your normie friend that balked at Bitcoin for years is in an exponentially worse position than you. And even wilder, imagine all the companies, public and private out there, watching Bitcoin climb in value and they're just sitting on their hands. Just when will they capitulate? 250K, 500K, 1 million? They're gonna think a couple Bitcoin is a significant financial move. But to you, well, how long have you been sitting on that two Bitcoin? Don't answer that. But I think you see it. Reality for you versus the normie neighbor is now a world of a difference. And your value is closer to a corporation than a wage earner. And you who braved all types of risk and FUD and threats and persecution and ridicule, been on the receiving end of the great wealth transfer. Imagine the goals of a small or medium-sized company is the buying or capital power of a regular person, not born to celebrity, not in great political power, just a pleb. Is the world ready for displacing the once privileged for a commoner with some Bitcoin and a little patience? The blue bloods are surely seething. The ECB paper last month is clear evidence. The social acceptance of Bitcoin banks, custodians, and ETFs, again, with FTX barely two years removed, seems to be an attempt to get access to your capital so legacy wealth may hold their proverbial seats at the table a little longer. So how do we handle this monumental information? Now, I think as a Bitcoin holder, it should give you a more solemn outlook for your assets you have accumulated. Lock it down, self-custody, that stuff right. Have a contingency plan with your people. You gotta understand that with that value, one day you will have the economic power to make things happen. And you may be doing it already. People will be coming to you to fund their projects, to invest in something that's gonna be the next big thing. What are you doing now to be ready for those types of decisions in the future? Don't do your patience and good fortune a disservice by being akin to a fiat lotto winner. You have the opportunity to change the world, or at the very least, make your little corner of it a bit better for you and yours. So don't waste it. But then to the no coiner, the doubter, and I know I've said this before, by the time your favorite personality tells you to go get Bitcoin, it will be too late. How many four year cycles are you gonna watch before you realize more communism isn't going to stop a global permissionless monetary network? And if you are the type to bet on communism to win, then you need to take a long look in the mirror and ask yourself who convinced you to love oppression Maybe once in your life, invest in yourself, invest in freedom technology, learn what Bitcoin really is. I'm Sir Ulrich, like my father before me. Bitcoin is the great wealth transfer and will change the world one pleb at a time.